Hello and welcome to learning video 3 of the Building Trust and Empathy Around COVID-19 Training module for healthcare workers. In this session, you will be learning about the COVID-19 virus, how it spread, modes of prevention, and about the COVID-19 vaccines. COVID-19 is a disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 that can trigger respiratory tract infection. It affects the upper or lower respiratory tract and spreads mainly through person-to-person -person contact. Infections can be mild, moderate, or severe. The main ways one can prevent COVID-19 are get vaccinated, wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer, wearing a face mask that covers the nose and mouth in close gatherings, physical distancing of at least one meter between people, ensure proper air circulation slash ventilation. Stay at home if you test positive or have any COVID-19 symptoms. Let's talk about some facts about the COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccination is a simple, safe, and effective way of protecting you against harmful diseases before your body comes in contact with them. Vaccines use your body's natural defenses to build protection against specific infections and make your immune system stronger. Vaccines protect us against viruses and diseases such as chickenpox and measles. All available vaccines for COVID-19 are tested, safe, and extremely effective at lowering the chance of hospitalization and death caused by COVID-19 with no serious safety concerns. The vaccines were built on decades of previous work on similar vaccines. So, how do the vaccines work to protect you? The COVID-19 vaccines imitate COVID without giving it to you. After you get the vaccine, the vaccine gives your body instructions to make a protein that safely teaches your body to make an antibody to fight the real COVID-19. Your body naturally breaks down or destroys that protein from the vaccine. With these antibodies, you can fight off the real virus if it tries to attack you. Getting the vaccine protects you as well as the community. Vaccines have the potential to protect more than just one individual. This is known as community immunity, a herd immunity. Community immunity occurs when enough people in a population are protected against an infectious disease to significantly interrupt the disease's transmission. A disease's threshold is the minimum percentage of immune individuals a community needs to prevent an outbreak. The thresholds necessary to achieve community immunity vary from disease to disease. The more contagious the pathogen, the higher the immunity threshold must be to protect a community. Community immunity is particularly important for protecting the health of the elderly, young children, and individuals with compromised immune systems who may not be able to receive vaccines. Vaccines protect us from serious diseases and also prevent the spread of those diseases to others. Over the years, vaccinations have halted epidemics of once common infectious diseases, such as measles, mumps, and whooping cough. Vaccination helps reduce the social and psychological toil of illness on people and lessens the burdens on hospitals and healthcare systems. Thanks to vaccination, Smallpox has been completely wiped out. The last case of naturally contracted smallpox was in 1977, and it was eradicated in 1980. A young male has accompanied his girlfriend to the PHC for contraceptive services. Let's listen to how the healthcare worker uses the opportunity to introduce the COVID-19 vaccination into the conversation. I understand that you are here today to discuss your contraception options. But uh, before you leave today, I'd also like to offer you both the COVID-19 vaccination. So, 
Are you ready to get the vaccine? Uh, no, thanks. I don't need the vaccine. Can you tell me why you don't think you need the vaccine? Well, I'm young, healthy, and it's not like I'd die if I got it. Being healthy is great, but it doesn't make you immune to COVID. Healthy young people have died too, and many, many more have gotten very sick and have been out of work for weeks. COVID rates are going up and down. You'll be at risk until we get everyone vaccinated. Um, okay. But would I need to miss work? No. We can get you your first dose today. And then uh, we can schedule your second dose when it's convenient for you. Let's reflect upon the scenario. Think about the following questions. What did the healthcare workers say or do that was positive? What did the healthcare workers say or do that could be improved? How would you respond if you were the healthcare worker in question? As we come to the end of this interesting module, we must remember that everyone will have different risk perceptions related to COVID-19. However, everyone is susceptible to catching it. As a healthcare provider, it is critical that you proactively discuss COVID-19 vaccination with them, along with other prevention methods. Don't shy away from bringing up COVID-19. Be a good listener and make sure to address their concerns by sticking with the facts. Help the client to take action to either get the vaccine while they are at the health facility or come back at a more convenient time for them.